If you're listening to the car and you're on your way home, we'll be in turn your around because <laughs> we're in your house. We're in your house. Welcome to the Horror Junkies Podcast, the podcast where we discuss all things horror. I'm your host, Mike. And I'm Pat. And we're back. Back at it. We're hairier. I got a haircut. Pat, you got a haircut, so he's less hairy, Stupid. but he's more sweaty. Stupid Disney. It, it is hotter because it's... <sighs> You're wearing a hoodie. Yeah, I know. And you ate soup. I did not eat hot soup. So... I'm going to start sweating real quick. Yeah. Especially through the fact that I heard that there are some cookies coming. There's some cookies coming. So, if you hear a doorbell and me Dino. leave, that's because cookies are being delivered during our show tonight. And that's... Got your chocolate chip, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, got your chocolate chip. Where's my fucking glass of milk? <laughs> my doctor... What is it? Dr. Kelp? My diet right. Dr. Kelp? <laughs> oh, man. SpongeBob. So, uh, the good old days. Good old days. It's coming to an end, isn't it? Isn't SpongeBob finally ending? I, is it still going? Adventure Time is ending. What? There's a giant fucking war going to happen. It's still it's going? Like, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I don't watch cartoons like I used to. Uh, it's on Hulu. So the only thing I, I watch is it. Rick and Morty. <laughs> Have you seen Gary and the Demons or Gary and Demons? It's what? like this weird uh, like Demon Hunter show, cartoon show that's on like this weird site. Gary? like the Gary. The, G- G A R Y oh. and it's and demons. He's like a he's like a Constantine almost, and he's like retiring and he has to find his replacement. But like all these demons keep fucking showing up, so he's like, God damn it! It looks stupid and funny, so it's right up Who, early. Who's uh? What network is it from? It's not like it's on a weird site called like VVR or VRV. Or oh wait, VR. I have VRV. Do you? It's on there. Yeah, Gary and that's where I watch my anime. <laughs> Easy, your anime. Yeah. yeah, Gary and his demons. It's on VRV. Can I see it? It looks right up your alley. It, uh, my alley, too. Okay. So, yeah, that's a fun little two-bit. And also, out there, your listeners, if you want to check out Gary and his demons. There's VR, a free ad. There's a free ad. <laughs> um, But it's week three of our It's So Bad, It's Good Film Fest. It's can getting I, rougher I, every fucking week. Can I smoke this? Yeah, dude. Cool. Okay. <laughs> um... It's a vape pen. He's vaping in my house. He's a fucking loser. Um, so it's not just regular vape. Ah, damn it! You want to take a hit? <laughs> nah, I'm good, dude. Um, fucking week three is rough, dude. I don't know. I like this week. I, actually, this week I like fun. this. This week was a lot of fun. We Wait, it, it was definitely needed after last week. Yeah, we needed a good like boost the morale because last week, especially after Birdemic, like. It was a. I had to drag myself to that Ooh, through that, and it yeah. was not fun. Um, so if you sorry, if yeah, if you haven't caught up with us yet, and you're lacking behind, that's not a big deal. But watch these movies, you know, and come back and talk to us. We're getting a lot of cool responses on Instagram and shit. A lot who, of people talking to us. Who knew? I, who would have thought that we had people who like us? Yeah, uh, there's more than five of them now. There is. We it's thought crazy. there was five, and now thought there's there ten. Only five. But um, if you guys are out there and you're listening, thank you. Keep it up. Keep yeah. talking to us. We keep talking to you and stuff. I don't know. Give us money. <laughs> we're we're trying to be subtle. Like, give us money. Just very subtly. We we want a pizza party. If I, we can I get can't remember the last time I showered. <laughs> you're still going on with this? Living in your car? Still, Yeah. I, it's still. I mean, I still live in my car. So, okay. yeah, yeah, of course. I'm still going to. He got a haircut, though, people. Yeah. I'm fucking yeah. Had to. Um, Stupid work, Disney. Quick little shout out thingies. Um, it's a shout out. Yeah, our boys from up north are back at it. The, this I might sound crazy podcast. And what do those fellas say about us this time? Oh, they didn't say anything about us, but they had a funny episode, and it's called the Globster. Okay, it's about this fucking like creature that washed up, and I think the Philippines or India, one of those two. Um, it looks like if a squid was sick and sneezed the giant booger, that's what washed up on shore. Okay. Also, they're planning a Bigfoot hunting trip in the summer. So, if you're listening to this, Lou and Pat, Pat and Mike are going to come up to Canada. Oh, hell yeah. And we're going to hunt a Bigfoot. 
and have they're gonna see you and think you're Bigfoot and then exactly they're gonna be like god damn it there's Bigfoot he's been hiding in Florida all this long all this time who knew and he had his own podcast his own podcast (laughs) Bigfoot and Friends Hmm. write that down I will (laughs) movie idea Bigfoot and Friends oh guys I guess we should get into this shit soon podcast uh, also, guys, if you want a free uh, month of uh, movies on demand, head over to Shudder.com. Yeah. And, and use that promo code JUNKIES. Get a free month of Shudder. Yeah. I use Shudder to watch these week's uh, movies that we're talking about. So Two of them are on there. Yeah. so The other two, I had, if, one I had to rent, one I had to, you know, find online. If you guys want to watch the movies that we're talking about today, <gasps> go over. to Shudder. Yeah. It's free. Yeah, for a month. For a month. And then if you like, hey. Keep it. If, if you, you don't, don't, fuck you. Yeah, cancel. <laughs> yeah, or fuck it. I yeah, should yeah. Say. But ah. just so you know, the movies are on there. Yeah, unless you've seen. That's them. how I watch them. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on. Word. All right. Now done with the ad. <laughs> <laughs> now that we got the man and out of the room. Ah, oh, what a weird week for horror news. The news. <laughs> 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 now I got a lot of cool shit that's going on. Yeah. Um. A movie we talked about a couple of weeks ago. If it was not last week, I can't remember off the top of my head. It was, uh, sure. I think it was two weeks ago. But the house that Jack built showed at the Cannes Film Festival, and apparently like 100 people got up and left. Just what? straight up and got up and like got up during the premiere. Is it because it's scary or because it's bad? <laughs> um, no, because apparently it's vomitive, torturous, pathetic, and vile. That's a lot of describing you know who's words. Th- yeah, it really is. It was Still th- not telling me if it's bad or good. Um, have you seen Antichrist? Yeah. It's by the same director. Oh. So it's going to be fantastic. Okay. So it's just uh, going to be... It's just really fucked. It's, edgy, a, sla- it's a slasher movie. Shocking. Yeah, it's a slasher movie. I mean, like, yeah. this guy, he it's film... He's... um Who is... He's uh, Lars Von Tier. Um, Lars Von Tier. Exactly. And he is from... He's from fucking... Transylvania. No, he's from fucking... Please. Please let me he's know. from the Scandinavian region. Like Denmark. I want to say. I think he's from Denmark. Close enough. Um, is it <laughs> no Transylvania is like in Romania I think uh, wasn't good in geometry or whatever <laughs> geometry geography dumb motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah everyone's saying this movie is like really fucking um, really intense which is weird because we haven't really gotten those like huge torture porn movies in a while yeah uh, like, that kind of fad kind of died down um, but it's a slasher movie for apparently slasher fans um he, I watched the trailer for it, the Red Band trailer. It's going to be intense. I haven't seen any trailers for this. Uh, dude, uh, there's a one part where like there's a kid. I've heard about it, though. Walking on a thing, yeah. and he snipes the kid, apparently. like. Okay. And, what he, and the, apparently, like the, 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 the serial killer thinks what he's doing is a work of art in a weird way. Okay. And, like, I don't know. It looks really good. If you haven't seen the trailer, look it up. Watch the Red Band trailer. It's going to be a fucking... It's not going to play in any theater probably near us. Why? Uh, it's because Florida sucks for fucking premieres. If anyone's going to get it, it's going to be Popcorn Frights down in Miami. They always get cool movies. We got to take a road trip to the nearest one. Um, yeah, because I really want to see this. Me too. Um, something... Z- Z- Zombie Land 2. Yep. How do you feel about this? Again, named to... Uh, the writer says it's aiming for a uh, 2019 release. Yep. Too long, too late, kind of deal. I, yeah, I feel like I'm like if you wanted to bank on that, you should have done it. Like I mean, they tried to do the anime, uh, the TV series, and that was a flop. Really? Yeah, it was. On, I think it was on Amazon or something. I don't like remember that, that at all because no one watched exactly. it. Exactly, <laughs> because so it, it wasn't good. Um, I mean, if they can, <sighs> but they get in the original cast, so that's they're cool. hoping for they're the original hoping, cast. Yeah. So I mean, that would be really cool if that happened because I mean, everyone loves. Zombieland, it's a classic. Like, watch. It's funny. It's got Bill fucking Murray in it. Like, yeah, but he's um, not going to be in the second one. No, of course not. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like I said, it would be cool to see the original cast and see what that story could pick up from. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Kind of too late. Yeah, when was the yeah. first movie came out? Like what? Fucking 2010. I think so. <laughs> I think it's almost been, it's going on eight years or something like that. For some, And the thing is, like, the zombie craze is kind of dying a little. There's still fucking shitload of movies coming out though. Yeah, with zombies. I mean, but, I just yeah, feel like they I, haven't we haven't gotten a really good zombie film in a while, and I think it's yeah. gonna happen. One of these movies is it's I like with vampire movies. We haven't like I'm not, not talking about like Underworld or 
anything like that. I'm talking about like an actual like vampire movie, like Queen so, of the Dam. Queen of the Dam. That movie was garbage, but like yeah, <laughs> Interview with the Vampire type of shit, yeah. where we get all lore and kind of stuff. At least a good lore, not like a stupid action. I movie. don't want an action movie like Dracula Untold. Yeah. It's a good watch, but it's not a great film. It's an action film. It's an action film. I want like a creepy, eerie vampire movie. Yeah, we haven't got that in a while. A long time. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, there's like some Fox show that's coming out though. That's yeah, like, I saw like that. that. Like that has like a cool lore. Speaking of Fox, they're canceling all kinds of fucking shows. Wonder why? <laughs> they're going under. <laughs> <laughs> all their shows don't do really good. Um, oh, they don't do so well, my boss. Oh, cancel them. Something really fucking cool that um, that I read up on a while ago, a couple of days ago, was that Fandango has a fucking prop store now, and you can buy like movie, movie props. props. Yeah, that's cool. The most expensive one is twenty five grand. It's a Indominus Rex fucking like mount for your wall. I want that. I do too. I saw I would- it and I was like, "You got a finance plan? <laughs> I'll finance that motherfucker out for eighteen months." <laughs> Lay away. Um, lay away, please. <laughs> please. Please. Um, it's kind of cool because there's a lot of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World uh, Stuff, props. Yeah. I think that's how they're kind of trying to kick it off. Um, and not everything's super up. expensive. Like, they have a baby Velociraptor replica for 850 a hatched egg replica for 400 and they have, like, a, a map, a Jurassic Park map for, like, 100 bucks. So, I mean, like... That's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, like, it's a replica, so yeah. you, you're it's getting not repos. Rich, yeah. Uh, the originals would cost hundreds One, of thousands of yeah. dollars. This was on the set of the movie. You know what? Though? Ten million dollars. Universal. I just like found this out like last year cause through my wife that they have like a prop store in Universal Studios. Oh yeah, you know we the, talked about this. Didn't yeah, we? I think yeah. we talked about it on the show a while ago. Yeah, yeah. But they sell like cool like Halloween Horror Nights props and movie props from things and old pictures and shit. And it's right next to the diner in Universal Studios. Good segue, Mike. Yeah. What's Trick that? or treat might begin. It's a fucking maze. It's not might. It's it's announced. happening. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, it's happening. Well, I mean, think about the fucking success of the scare zone last year. Yeah, it was the prettiest. It was I've... the best one next to the alien UFO. It was trick or treat. The UFO crash. Yeah. Like I, we spent so much time. Oh yeah. That, that there's so many pictures that I've taken that East has taken. Mm-hmm. Um, I was excited. I saw this this morning. I was like, I just got excited for Halloween Horror Nights 2018 because usually I'm kind of. like... And they're doing yeah. a really cool, like, I like the their marketing strategy this year. Mm-hmm. They're doing a lot of, like, cool uh, videos and shit, like the Patient Zero house, the zombie one. That was really cool. That really drawed me in. I was like, shit, are we getting, like, a 28 Days Later vibe house? That'll which be, is what it feels it, like. like. Yeah, that that's dope. And then there's Stranger Things, of course. Yeah. We haven't really talked about Highland Horror Nights as much. No, um, because we're going to have a whole episode on it. Next, well, yeah, I mean, next, we used to do, like, the like updates, September, yeah. so... We'll, That's true. We'll we'll keep you guys posted for what's happening. I mean, happening. we've been updating them with the new, when we it's in the news. True. So it's like yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess more hype, more hype for uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Definitely. For real. I wonder if they change creative. I hit. want and I want to know what the hell they're gonna replace Bill and Ted with. I wonder if they're gonna do it this year. I'm sure they are. Another I'm, Bill and Ted. No, 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 no. I mean, like, uh, I'm sure they already have a show planned f- to replace Bill and Ted. Yeah. So I'm assuming they're gonna announce Bring it. back Beetlejuice. Oh, that'd be so fucking great. Right? Like, that or That's the Rocky Horror Picture yeah. live show. Like, those two I would love so much. They already have, like, a yearly live show there, don't they? Yeah. they yeah. Every, like, Halloween season, they do a live showing of uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh. Why? Why? Aliens are attacking us. Um, so that's really cool, though. Trigger Tree's getting its own house. I'm kind of stoked to see how they do it. Yeah, uh, I feel like it's going to be the the different storylines in the movie. You're going to walk through different houses. That'd be tight. Um, yeah, yeah, with Sammy just running around everywhere. Um, I'm very excited. I'm excited to see what the Stranger Things house is going to be like, and I'm excited yeah. to see what else they're coming up with because yeah, it I seems like they're, they're doing if, cooler stuff. If Stranger Things is going to cover both seasons or just the I think first. it's just this first season. Good. Yeah, keep it. If that's if that's going to be their new one where they do yearly, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that too. Um, I hope we, gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, Halloween Horror Nights is full of gimmicks, so yeah, what do you expect? exactly. It's a whole big gimmick. Or if they do another Purge Scare Zone, yeah. which are kind of cool, though. I'm it so works, tired of the, but it's, it, yeah, the walk, it's the next Walking Dead. Yeah. It's to the point where you're like, can you please stop now? Yeah, you guys are getting lazy. Yeah, and especially because there's not a new Purge. The new Purge won't come out until then, I don't think. Yeah. The you're, first you're, Purge is coming out at the beginning of the year. Um, Guillermo so, del Toro. Robin Eggers. Oh, 
No, nah, I don't care. What's, <laughs> no, Ro- <laughs> Del Toro, man, he got picked up. Netflix is good. Picking him up. See, see what happens when you get an Oscar. You win an Oscar, doors fucking open for you. Yeah, because you're in- too late. Like, I mean, should have came a lot sooner. This man's been yeah, pumping out fucking. Yeah, he might croak. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that. Just be like. <laughs> He's finally getting appreciated in yeah. Hollywood for his work when he Good. should have been so long ago. He said, "All I do is do a love story with a creature, and they with have the sex." Creature? Yeah, I'm like done, like easy. Oh man, that's a little bit proof of the art Um, <laughs> but apparently, it's entitled his new show. He's the um, he's curating it. He's picking the team, everything. Yeah, it's, it's gonna a, be an anthology. An which anthology, is, which is really cool. Fuck yeah! So think about all the things he hasn't done that he's wanted to do. And now he has the ability. he has he is able to do it. It's gonna be called Ten After Midnight, which is cool as fuck. I love that name. Yeah, it feels like Are You Afraid of the Dark or um, creep not creep show, but um, scary stories to tell in the dark. Whatever the fuck it's called, I can't remember the Nickelodeon one. Yeah, uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Um, I think they're kind of going towards. Like you say, anthology because of the black, like they're doing, I think they're trying to do more like the Black Mirror anthology series type yeah, of thing. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's the new, new thing, thing to do. Yeah. Finally. It's cool because it's like you don't, you're not contained in a story. Like, yeah. Y- and you can hire, you can still hire people to just jump on and do an episode and like and don't have to worry about continuity yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Which is really cool because he's picking the stories, he's picking the writers, the directors, all that kind of shit. So it's really good to see that he's going to be very fucking involved in this series. And, I'm so glad that it's Netflix because his budget's going to be fucking stupid. And if there's one thing Del Toro is going to give us, it's going to be practical effects. Yeah. And Netflix is about to pump some money out, hopefully. Um, I can't wait. I'm yeah. excited. For him to do something like this after now he's like a movie star. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. Like He's just going to be like, all right, I'm going to do a Netflix thing now. <laughs> Not another movie. Because he he's been doing The Strain, but I think The Strain ended. That's such a great I, show. I need to get into that show. It's on Hulu. I know. And so, it's about vampires and yeah, shit. Yeah, Strigoli. Yeah. It's a different type of vampire. Which is cool. Yeah. It's the it's kind of like the vampires from Blade 2. Yeah. They, and since they're from... Which is Guillermo del Toro's creation as well. Yeah. They're from fucking Romania, if I'm not... I have a whole book on Romania. vampires. And there's different vampires per region of the world. They're not the same. I like the mouth. The Yeah, the giant mouth. Um, something I want to talk about that I thought was really cool. My my dude Robert Eggers is releasing a, coming out with a new movie called The Lighthouse. Mm. Um, Excuse me. If you guys don't know, Robert Eggers is the one who directed The Witch, so be prepared for a crazy fucking mess of a movie. Um, it's set in 1890, so he's staying in that period pieces. It's gonna be shot in 35 millimeter and in black and white. Word. So they're not even doing a black and white filter. They're going to film it in 35, fil- 35 millimeter black and white film. Hell yeah. And it's fi- it's going to be filmed in Nova Scotia. And it's following a, um, this aging uh, lighthouse keeper named Old, which I think is hilarious. Um, and it has William Defoe and Robert Patterson in it. What? So it's got That's a stacked a weird cast, cast. So I'm okay. pretty sure that William Defoe is going to be um, Crazy. Old, the old guy. Okay. Um, and who the fuck knows? I sent you guys the, the... I've been blowing up the group chat like crazy with headlines. I don't... I'm sorry. I sometimes look at that. I know. I'm always okay. busy. Patrick doesn't like me anymore, guys. Oh, it's I okay. I love you. What do you mean? <laughs> but I think that's it, man. Anything else you had on your end on the news that you want to nope, talk about? No, you covered everything with the show notes. There wasn't really a lot this week. There wasn't. I mean, there was like the Predator Force trailer came out. I didn't um, really want to talk about it, though, because I'm yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah. Um. Someone picked up. Who's, gets someone all this got shit a, from a fucking box. Yeah, I have so many problems with this movie. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I don't see even it, talk but about it. I have problems with the concept. Yeah. Um. And then someone got picked up to be Stanley, the older version of Stanley in it. And I just. Oh want, yeah. I but, just think it's funny. Like you got casted as the character. How does it feel to know that you're gonna die? This is <laughs> like the first that it's Andy Bean joined. Yeah, Andy Bean joins it chapter two as adult Stanley Uris. And it's like, you're going to die in like the first fucking five minutes of the film. I yeah, <laughs> my dude. You're, <laughs> you're fucked. <sighs> that was some good water. That, was, uh, that water right there was delicious. <laughs> you ready to get into this Got fucking Got it down weeks? by the lake. By the whale. By yeah, the whale. Go. Oh, God. Water. You ever had actual whale water? Yeah. Like St. Augustine has that little thing you could. It is God awful. Yeah. It why tastes, why do you like pay poop. for that? 
Because people are dumb. Yeah. Don't yeah. go in the woods. Ellipses. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Alone. Alone. <laughs> oh, God. And I wish I didn't click this play was probably on this the worst. Fucking... This, is, this is the worst movie this week. This is the number one worst movie of this fucking week. The dubbing on the voices were... Bro, d- so the what I think happened is that they filmed it out in the wilderness because it takes place in the, shocker, woods, that the audio was such shit they that they're to- like, they had to do like post recording after the fact and it is just bad. Yeah. Oh. And it doesn't help like sometimes like if a character's talking and the camera's like somewhere else, you're just like, this doesn't match up at all no this, the editing on this movie is fucking god awful you can't well, tell what what is uh, first of all like there's there's a scene where like, the kid sees something in the woods chasing like towards him oh yeah and he just starts you running away and you can't see what it is and you don't it doesn't look like a person no it doesn't look like anything that's familiar in the movie and then you just like cut clip to him running and then cut clip to something else i'm like they're so this is so confusing so, such harsh transitions yeah so the movie, guys, just so you know, is directed by James Bryan, written by Garth Elysian. It was released in 1981, so a big year for wood-themed horror movies. <laughs> uh, the synopsis, a maniacal murderer kills tourists in the woods. Fucking, that's the whole movie right there. <laughs> that's the whole thing. Yeah. Um, that's it. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, you start off and, like, there's, I mean, it. I will say that it gives you what you want in the sense that it starts killing people right off the bat. Yeah. Like it just, it just yeah, kill the, after this, kill after the first kill scene after is like kill. A chasing scene, which I thought was cool because I was like, all right, that's a cool way to start a movie. Like, yeah. So okay, let's see now. what we're gonna be getting ourselves into, and then I and kept then the, watching. The guy's just like some crazy hillbilly that lives in the woods. Who so has anal beads on his face? Yeah. What the fuck, I, dude? This director only has three other movies, so I mean, it's not a big <laughs> shocker that his directing career didn't go anywhere. Um. I like the fat cop. Yeah. He was just so pissed that he had to do stuff the entire time. <sighs> They'll show up. <laughs> and he's like busy and he's playing putt-putt in his fucking office and shit. Um, my favorite ridiculous. actor is the fucking know-it-all nature guy. Oh, the guy that looks like uh, Alan uh, whatever from Jurassic Park. He yeah. literally has the same. Oh, dude, hold on. Patrick, keep talking. The cookies dude, are here. Dude, 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 dude. Cookies are here. Uh, it was... Dude, I don't. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> here we go. No one here. I heard a door. Well, uh oh, it's a ghost. <sighs> I'm back. So no one was at the door. No one was at the door. So that means no fucking cookies. That means no cookies. <laughs> this is how a horror movie starts. <laughs> This is Horror Junkies the movie. This is how we started. Literally, this is fucking Ghostface <laughs> about to kill us. So are you telling me there's a ghost in the house and we don't get cookies? <laughs> Fuck. There kill we me go. right there, now. That's our bad movie. <laughs> Sci-fi, hit us up. We'll talk. It, killer cookies. Killer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the fucking guy, he like, you don't want to go in the woods alone because, <laughs> and like they like, oh God, he's wearing the dumbest outfits again. What is yeah. up with the outfits? Yeah, I don't know. There's... And then when we talk about sleepaway games, it's gonna be uh, great. <laughs> All the high shorts are on the Oh my god, <laughs> bulges everywhere. Um, it's just bad writing. Yeah, it's very bad acting. I'm pretty sure they filmed it with a ham sandwich. They definitely did. Um, but yeah, there's really no good story either. Like it's just what's everywhere. a story? It's just like someone ch- chasing somebody, and it's like <laughs> they're introducing random fucking people from beside the main group. Like there's these two the. A, this couple, he's a photographer and his wife's like just coming with them. Oh, I want to go up there and get a picture of the train coming. Dale! 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 Don't leave me here, Dale! Dale! And like he dies. And Instantly. Then why he, and you're like, how why? did he? He was up there and then he ended up in the. I guess he got pushed off. And then there's like there's a couple playing in the water below in the waterfall and shit. And don't see the body. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you didn't hear this fat guy just fall 20 feet and hit yeah. a rock? And, and like then fucking granny's just bleeding out of nowhere. Yeah. Like you don't see her get stabbed or anything. She's just on the floor bleeding. I'm like, what the fuck is My going on? My biggest problem with this movie why the fuck was there a guy in a wheelchair trying to climb a mountain? Yo, he got his by head himself. Chop, chopped the fuck up. Yeah, he did. And was, he's like struggling, and no one's yeah, helping him out. Yeah. Well, he's by himself. I'm yeah. like, let, let's be real here. If if you are bound to a wheelchair, you are not gonna climb a mountain by yourself. 
He's and like, it's not I'm like a, a fucking dude. It's it. not a powered one or any, it's like an old school old wheel it and go. Wheel it and go and like he's like climbing a mountain. I'm like you're going to fall. Like Instantly. and he does fall. You know what? I didn't understand the fucking baby. What the I think is there a sequel to this movie? I hope not. <laughs> I don't think no. There's not. There's not. Just, so what like the fuck's the up with the baby? The last clip of the sh- of the movie is like they show the baby playing with a hatchet. With playing with a hatchet. Oh, that's how hatchets born. Sh- shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. There's just this un like he kills the painter. Like, for, like, there's just so many random people dying. I think that's what he wanted. He was like, all right, we're gonna have some baseline ass plot. It's stupid, but yeah. pretty much I just want to kill people in a movie. That's all I want to do. Which it did fine but it was really confusing at most they what showed the fuck was on the floor like when that kid saw it was just like a lot of confusing shit oh when they go in the house and there's just trash everywhere yeah and it's like but it's a body yeah but whose body his, his booby trap's like now i'm gonna show you a dead body it's like <laughs> what <laughs> yeah it was a booby trap but he's like this could be you like, yeah uh, get out of my trash fill. he's a hoarder like there's trash everywhere yeah, like, look for food for food and you're like there's rappers everywhere. There's no food here. Like, there's just so many problems. <laughs> and then... So many problems with this It movie. took her, like, a couple hours to just accept that she's just going to eat a plate of, like, whatever was on that plate. Oh, yeah. Like... The fuck? She's like, all right, I'm just going to... I, I need to survive. Like, I need to lick this plate. I'm like, what the fuck is this movie? It's it was, not a movie. It's not. It's just, like, a bunch of clips put together. <laughs> it's just like, here we go. One continuous shot. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, only two people survive. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That was... There were, There was... For the 80s, there was no n- nudity, which was a shocker. Because, like, 80s slasher movies... All about nudity. All, all yeah. about nudity. None of that. Um, Back in the good days. <laughs> we, don't get, bad we don't get that anymore. You guys watch this movie. Okay, make sure this is a must watch. Okay, this is 10 out of 10. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you, you to, have to watch it. Like, if you don't watch this, you're not a horror fan. No, I, I think this might win. This could win. This could definitely win. This it's could the take best the fu- of them all. <laughs> yes. I had a good time. Dude, the soundtrack. Oh, my God. The fucking random. The, there was the Woo! same <laughs> song every time. As soon as they were, like, together in the woods. Yeah, little band, I was like. But it wasn't, like, the traditional banjo. It was, like, some other weird shit that they probably couldn't afford to play terrible i think it was like he made the soundtrack as a joke at first like, and then the director's like no i like it i like this shit this is good this is staying we use this in my move and one every time the group is shown in the woods they're gonna play this song because that's it that's the only time you hear it god damn fuck I this movie i don't yeah it was not i think it was like the last one i watched it was the first one i watched jesus the first <laughs> one i watched was killer donuts oh god yeah that's the last one we're going to talk about. Hell yeah. No, I mean, sorry, Sleepaway Camp, technically. Because I've seen that before. Yeah. So, Let's the next go. film is kind of funny. Dr. Tickle. Giggles. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the the Final Girls horror cast said that we're we're bad to be say, having these on our show. For the, it's so bad, it's good. But I mean, the name says that it's so bad, it's good. Yeah. Like, Mr. Dr. Giggles, Dr. Giggles wasn't a good movie. No. It had good but it was kill what, scenes. I think it was better than pretty much all the movies on this list. Yeah, it's the best one. Yeah, I definitely think it like, had more of a technical budget. Wise, yeah, yeah, it, it was, had a budget. It had it was very practical. It had a cool storyline. <laughs> like it had a storyline. <laughs> it had a storyline. Um, I like the fucking like the fact that he's killing people with like these doctor instruments because that was something that's not been done before. If you think about it, it was released in night in the uh, early nineties. So we're still in the huge slasher area because but don't mind that bowl. That bowl of soup. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Uh, so the 90s was like a really still good slasher era. Yeah. The slasher era like lasted for a very long time. And using practical effects was like at its highest. At its highest. And I mean like we've never seen that kind of thing before. I, I don't think. I mean we may have some evil doctor movies. I mean, like reanimator, of course, yeah. but like stuff not, like that. But not like where a doctor is going around killing people with crazy. It's not like slashers is always like a sci-fi yeah. type of movie because like you're dealing with medical and doctor and yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So, so it's, yeah. it was directed by Manny Koto, written by him and another person who I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to try because um, it is just give it your give it a college try, college try, Grammy Wilfler, good G R A E M E. 
I think Granny he did. I think he did well. Wiffler. Thank you. Uh, and just a quick synopsis for you guys. A madman who believes he's a doctor comes to the town where his crazy father was killed and soon begins murdering people and becoming infatuated with a teenage girl who has a heart condition. Hmm. Also, the, his mother his mother had the heart condition. Yeah, so that was that, how they got tied. Yeah, yeah. But the weird thing was is he did when he became infatuated with her, he didn't know there was a heart condition. No. He like walked up to the house and saw her from the window and was like... Mm. <laughs> And the weird thing is, the too, giggles were so stupid. Yeah, the weirdest thing too is like the first scene. They they mentioned that all the prisoners escaped. Yet he got he he escaped the uh, the place he was doing the operation. The uh, same asylum. But when it comes to prisoners escaping, don't they have like a lockdown system? Yeah, in most places. Um, and he just yeah, kind of like had his. He killed a guy and got his like key. Mm-hmm. So, Time like, to check you out. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, the dude, worst one liners. The, the worst. worst. The last, like his, even his last words. Spoiler alert: He does die. He does die at the and end. He's like, "Is there a doctor in the house?" In the house? Yeah, this is the fucking like, worst. Oh my god! They were like, "How can we make one liners fit a doctor?" And they were like, "Got it." <laughs> like the worst. <laughs> um, I will say his evil laboratory was kind of cool. Like I don't know how he got it. Um, was yeah. it his father set up in the fucking, fucking like what sixties? Because he was born in fifty two. They yeah. said, yeah. So he was forty when he was attacking everyone. So like he was seven. I will say the coolest scene is when he's reborn, when like he he his father got him out of the house by oh by putting him in his dead mom mom body. and then he fucking cuts his way out. That was fucking crazy. That was so fucking metal. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking Fuck yeah. Me- that was really metal. So I guess this movie's not great. No. It has a twenty seven on Rotten Tomatoes. It's it, it's script and it's acting is not awful. Good. But if you're he trying kills to find it. he does kill it. He does kill it as like a fucking psychopath doctor guy. Yeah. Which is fucking scary. Yeah. He's not doctors, even a real doctor. No, but doctors are could be scary because yeah, yeah. hospitals are scary. There's that one movie. Remember that one movie, um fucking 2000 release where the person goes under for surgery but then they're actually still have conscious but they can't move it's like a weird condition that can happen when you go under anesthesia you don't remember that movie nope i don't remember the title but I was the hoping. cell no with jennifer it's Lopez. like a thriller isk it's not really horror it's more so like this person goes under for surgery and some shit goes wrong and he's like talking but no one can hear him because he can't actually Talk Speak. or anything like that because yeah he's oh. sedated weird movie if I think of it or the look up the title I'll let you guys know but okay yeah um, confusing me yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> like I said this movie is a lot of fun if you're just wanting to watch a movie where it's a hack and slash yeah you don't care about the characters no nope. there's no time to develop any sort of connection only only one is with him really yeah you build he's more of a connection with the, with the killer story. which I kind of like yeah it's different because most like with Scream you get the you know you connect to Sydney Prescott with Sydney. with Nightmare on Elm Street you're more connected with um, Nancy and the other various characters yeah, that come yeah, exactly. into play uh, Jason yeah, you don't connect with all the, except for Jason you connect more with Jason than anything yeah um, so I like that This with that um, I would like to see what else Manny has directed I didn't really look but I feel like some of it, maybe his other movies may be a little bit better. Yeah, I think this was like a theater release, too. It was it? a theater release. It yeah. made money, too. Um, wow. Yeah, wow. I think it's the first one to make money, too. I didn't look at the other movies, but he made some money, I think. He made a decent little profit. Dr. Giggles. The giggles were so bad, dude. So bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> But he was creepy. Yeah, it was creepy. It was a good movie. I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You know, it was supposed to be really bad. I still fucking enjoyed this oh, movie. Oh, yeah. Um, so check it out, guys. Dr. Giggles. It's not a hard one to find either. Like, the other one last week, what was it? Um, oh, Spawn of the Slithus. That yeah. one was fucking hard to find online. Yeah, like, these were a little bit easier to find. These are super easy to find because they are newer. Yeah. Um, not so obscure. So, yeah. Dr. Giggles. It, it's, it's a good film. Check it out. I like it. And I found it on like a like top ten like worst slasher <laughs> list. Really? And I was like, not awful. Like no. it's watchable. It's not like it's like, oh, this is so fucking bad. I can't watch this. Yeah, That's exactly. don't go in the woods. I yeah. was like, oh my God. Even though you should go see that movie. Yeah, go Definitely. see that movie. Need, Definitely. Need to. Yeah. Because we did it. Yeah. If we're doing it, you have to do it. Sleep away camp. Sleep away camp.
This is my first time ever watching this movie. That's fucking crazy. Did right? you? So you didn't know about the the plot twist? In I the mean, yeah, you know, I never talked about this movie with anyone. Never had anyone discuss this movie with me. Right. Except for you know the first time we like last week when we were picking our films, you're like, oh, watch it. It's got a crazy. This plot is the only twist. reason I started this podcast um, was to talk about this movie. I will say this about Slip Away Camp. <clears throat> I got I I figured it out in the first ten minutes. That like, it was a dude. No, yeah, I figured out that was his, it was the brother. This first right. off, the re, the main reason why spoiler for fucking anyone who's never seen this movie. Sorry, it's our show. You should know by now that it's just spoiler heavy. Yeah, we don't we don't care. We <laughs> don't care. Um, <laughs> with the boat crash scene, yeah. Um, they show the kid in the water, and like, it's the boy. It's the short haired boy. So I was like, yeah. oh, the daughter's dead. Um, and the father's dead, and I was like, okay. So when they introduced Angela, I was just like. That's yeah, they really didn't hide that's, that. that's the that's the kid, which suck, which is crazy because that's like their whole premise. Like this whole crazy twist is yeah. the point of the movie. Still got to people because people didn't no no think of course yeah people are back then some they, people are stupid and don't think about that kind of thing. I'm <laughs> I'm fucking vigilant and I like to be like no this is well, I, I try just, to figure out movies. I just sometimes. think people judge movies differently back then and didn't analyze them like we do. True, you know. Plus, uh, watching the movie the first time, I already knew the plot twist uh, because of like Robot Chicken and like. It's it's reference. So Robot Chicken makes fun of it. Yeah, I have to see that. That's funny. Yeah, Robot. It's the it's the skit where uh, it's um, it's uh, <laughs> M Night Shyamalan doing like what a twist. That, oh, okay. That's, that whole bit. I may have seen that one. It's yeah, been so and long. Then, and they do that whole movie. She looked creepy though when she did that last scene. I mean, I I think it was I think it was drawn out too long. I don't yeah. think they should have ended it like that. Well, it didn't make sense. It's like why is she killing all these people? Exactly. Like, I, I don't mean, know no, where no, she's. No, just I mean, like, okay, so for, let's talk about the the basics first, and then we'll discuss it because I do want to kind of discuss this film out of most out of all of them. Yeah. Um, it was directed by Robert uh, Hiltzik, written by him as well. Released in 1983. And then the synopsis is Angela uh, Baker, a traumatized and very shy young girl, is sent to some uh, summer camp with her cousin. Girl. Richie or Ricky? I can't remember. Ricky. Ricky. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Shortly after her arrival, anyone with sinister or less than honorable intentions gets killed. So. So she's like a superhero? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I will say, like, I, I, of course, you know it's her killing people. Yeah. Well, Peter. Yeah. Um. And I understand why it happened. So you look at the the events of his life. His father and his sister were both killed at a summer camp yeah. type of esque thing. Like a summer camp was involved. Those teenagers were from a summer camp. Mm-hmm. So there's that trauma. And then you know, cutscene like later on in the movie, you finally see why um, everything is happening, and it's because Peter, who is casted from all neck up in a head cast from damages from the bo- which was weird because I didn't think he got hurt no me either I, th- I thought he was away he was from just, the fucking boat yeah so that why did he duck under the water I mean the fucking boat engine's still gonna get you and plus the kids had life vest on so it's very hard to go underwater rip that off go underwater first of all I feel also I feel like the boat could have turned <laughs> I feel like there was moments to, moments before like, even I anything mean, they would have gotten splashed and then they probably that girl would have like, hit what? What's going on back there? Me. Yeah, like fucking look ahead of you, motherfucker. All right, this is why women shouldn't. Dr- no, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm just um, kidding. But like, so yeah, so Peter is you know bandaged all the way up, so you can't tell that it's actually a boy. Yeah. And Angela is like, uh, not Angela, but the aunt is like not there. She's like, oh, this won't do. We already have one boy. This won't do. No. Yeah, kind of. You'll be crazy. a pretty girl. Even so the way she was talking, because they don't go to that scene towards it until the end, the end but like they like, introduce you, a character and she you can really tell she has like problems yeah like, she's, she's like, like oh that to herself. no so no. probably hitting no. on like yeah it's just really weird she's definitely yeah. out of touch um so like she, of course he's raised to think that he's a girl when he's yeah. not yeah um so there's that whole traumatic thing and they did that like my thing is that like if you're gonna f- do that you should focus more on that I think like like with like Insidious, on the psyche of it, but it's yeah. supposed to be the twist of the movie. Yeah, I mean, because like Insidious two, they're really heavy on the women in black yeah. storyline, where like yeah, yeah. he was abused, and of course Peter was abused. Like yeah. he was abused his whole life, and that's why you put the abuse of his entire life. You put going back to a summer camp, yeah. and then you have people fucking with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. That first kill was fucking great. The guy so was, a was that the boat that her the their father tipped over? What do you mean the boat in the water? 
What do you mean boat? The teenager what? kid that goes under what under yeah. the boat. It's not the parents' boat, no. It's not the boat from the beginning of the movie? No, no. Oh. That was a sailboat they had, kind of. It was a canoe that they were in. You know, it was just, just a cheap movie, and they're like, we already got one boat. Let's uh, just reuse that. Let's just gonna reuse that. We'll take the mast down, and you'll never yeah. know. Because uh, she was at a campsite, and I thought it was the same camp that they go to or something. I like think that. it is. I think it yeah. is the camp, same camp. I mean, they don't really hint at that at <laughs> all. Yeah. Because I would see that boat, I'm like, ooh, triggered. There's just, uh, the big thing about this movie is that it has a lot of plot holes. A oh, lot. yeah. Like, oh, I mean, you yeah. can fucking drain spaghetti with this movie. <laughs> like, that's how fucking many plot holes there are. Um, the kills aren't great. Some of them are. Some of them, oh, now the cookies are here. I liked it because it, it played on the, uh, hey, we don't have money. So, we don't have a budget. So, we're not going to show the kills. But use your imagination and we'll show you the after effects. Which is kind of cool because it's like, I don't know, horror movies don't do that nowadays. Like, they kind of show you everything. I'm still talking to you like you're still here. They're the cookies. Holy shit. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, yeah. But no, I did like that. I like yeah. the, the ones. It's like because they didn't have a budget. Yeah, they definitely didn't. Um, the one death I didn't like was the, um, the, bee, the bee death. I thought that was so cool. Motherfucker, he's not gonna die off of those little ass bees. You sure they were bees, and not wasp? I mean, they looked like bees. Yeah, I don't know. The makeup was cool. Yeah, I just don't feel like he got stung enough to die automatically. No, of course unless not. he was allergic. Then that makes sense. Like, but they didn't establish that at all. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> it's, I guess like a wicked shit, and they fucking. <laughs> um. Oh, the guy. The, <laughs> They, how they write guy and girls is fucking great in this movie. Yeah. Also, can we talk about the bulges? There's just dicks everywhere in this movie. It was the early 80s, man. They were still in that 70s era. Like, the first... <laughs> when we finally get to the camp, all right? Like, the camp counselor and the camp owner are there. And the, the camp counselor looks like a l- wannabe Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> and he's got this tight-ass shirt and these shorts that are so fucking high. And it's just like, dick. And you're like, all right. Yep. And then there's the my worst like the more part I hate is the pedophilic fucking oh the, the chef. chef like Off I was so bat. happy when he fucking died I was and he died horribly like with yeah. fucking w- boiling water I love the fact like he's like yeah they're uh, too young and everyone's kind of like yeah dude it's kind of weird yeah ha <laughs> ha <laughs> and then they laugh it off I'm like okay this would be if I heard someone say this shit about this about kids I'd be like. We should probably stop this from happening. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? And then, like, the, the camp counselor, he's such a nice guy. Like, yeah. the Luke Frigno, he's like, oh, you know, it's usually, you know, maybe you don't, let's take you to the kitchen and see if you want to eat. Yeah, he's such a nice character. And then Artie's like, <laughs> come in, like, walk in. And then, like, her, uh, thankfully, her brother walks in. Yeah. Cousin, excuse me. And he's like, you didn't say nothing. And then, boiling water. I was like, that is the worst death because yeah. you don't die instantly. You have to suffer through the fucking burns. Oh, fuck that. Um, good makeup. It was a good makeup say, though. The makeup in this say. movie was really good for what they you knew they didn't have like money wise. They did mm-hmm. a good job, and it wasn't it didn't come off like cheesy or campy or anything like that. Like it looked like good makeup. Yeah, look like at they had a good team of makeup artists. I liked Meg's death to cut up the fucking back. Yeah, I liked was that she too. fucking the old guy? Yeah, Ew. I guess so. Why? Because it's weird, and he's not even a, f- he's not even attractive. Yeah, but every time he like comes to the shot and she like sees him, she's like, "Ooh, yeah, like some Mister Robertson or Mrs. Rogers shit." Like, I don't know. The movie's weird, dude. The movie's so fucking weird. about like. It's just a weird movie. Yeah, I'm surprised I did it like even the got whole, made in that time era. Yeah, I did like the whole like she uh, Peter's holding the head, yeah, singing the song, and she like he picks it up. I love that. That was cool. Um, she has a penis. Yeah, I, I didn't like that line. Was so stupid. I was just like, <laughs> really? How could? Yeah, it was like you could have you could have took that whole line out and you would have been fine. Yeah, took that line out and then also, um, the whole ending where it's just like ah, like you could have cut that like five minutes fucking shorter because like yeah, it lost its effect after a while. Like it's no longer scary. It's like ridiculous. It's kind of communicable. Yeah. Yeah, and then it turns green. And you're like, I think the movie because it didn't really focus on like the horror aspect of things. It just, no. just kids at a camp, kids at a camp, pretty much, and yep. like that's it. Some like romance, 
shit happens and it's like not really though. It's like I don't know. It's it's a weird film. Again, There's a second I forget. One. I forgot sometimes watching it because it was like gaps mm-hmm. where I was like, oh yeah, this is a horror movie. Yeah, I'm like I just thought it was like a weird. I thought it was a love movie. story yeah. at first. <laughs> um, yikes. Yeah. And there's a second one. Yeah, there's like three, I think. No, there's there's a, yeah, there is three. Like what? It's the era of like let's make sequels. Yeah. Uh, but it's a good it's a good watch. I mean, it's not like my favorite film. I wouldn't say it's like a. I mean, it's got a it has an eighty percent on Rotten Tomatoes, of course, which I think is solely based on uh, the cult following behind it trolls. and nothing else. Just trolls. Because <laughs> like the writing isn't great. You know the acting isn't good because you got child actors, so like they're not the best. Yeah. Um. And then, like I said, at least the, the what saves the movie is the kills, and that's kind of in the twist. Yeah, in, in the, the twist. But other than which, that, again, like, you if you're analyzing the movie deep enough, obviously, it's not that big of a twist. Yeah, it's really not. Especially how she or he behaves like throughout the the yeah. movie about not swimming, mm-hmm. which you think is just a trauma because of what happened to her when water. she was in the water, but yeah. it's like. She doesn't want to show everyone that she has a penis, yeah. you know, because she's already getting made fun of for being shy. Yeah. But like I said, well, if you've never seen it, eh, watch it. Yeah. It's good. Uh, I, I would pick Dr. Giggles over this movie because <laughs> I feel like Sleepaway Camp, though, you kind of have to watch if you're a It's one of those court, cult yeah. films. Um, so it's I'm, just I like mean, Rocky I'm, Horror Picture Show. You have to watch it yeah. if you're into <clears> horror <throat> or any type of like pop culture or stuff like that. Fuck me up, man. They're good as hell. Dude, Insomnia has the best cookies. The best. The best. And they deliver. It's so fucking great. Yeah. They just take forever. Yeah. <laughs> fucking shit. All right. It's not cookies, but on the same end of desserts. Nice segue. Uh, dude, right? Attack of the Killer Donuts. What a film. Best film this year. <laughs> Needs to win an Oscar. Best year of 2016. Um. So, <coughs> directed by Scott Wheeler. Written by Nathan Dalton and Chris De Christopher. Which yeah. Two Chris's, really? Chris De Christopher? All right. Yeah. I started <laughs> the girl that plays, uh, is it Melissa? No. Whatever. Michelle. Her, Michelle. I followed her on Instagram. What? Yeah. She's just we, a nobody? We literally looked her up on IMDb, saw what she was credited in. She's in like some Nickelodeon show or was or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then this movie. And then... Uh, Josh looked her up on Instagram and said, "Oh, she only has like a thousand subscribe like followers." He's well, like, "I'm gonna follow her and like see what's up." <laughs> <laughs> That's she's, funny. She's married. <laughs> okay. So no hitting on her, but she only has like a thousand followers. So uh, well, I mean, you're an attack of the killer donuts. Yeah. You're not that famous. <laughs> Damn. That's yeah. fucked up. Sorry. Um. So just for you guys know. My wife came and picked up the cookies that she wanted. Of course, she's not going to say a word. Nope. She's going to walk quietly back upstairs. She's laughing. We got her. Yep. Yes. Yes. She does exist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she is not dead. So, this movie is about a chemical accident turns ordinary donuts into bloodthirsty killers. I like how it happened. I like how they like ripped <laughs> off Reanimator. Yeah. I like My favorite part of this whole movie is the uncle. Like... His lab, him fighting a fucking rat, and then my favorite scene next to the lady giving a erotic dance to the donuts, which was so fucking weird, was when they were him and the donut owner shop were fighting <coughs> in the fucking. Oh, cop- yeah. Police help! <coughs> Police help! Help me! <laughs> she's like, they're just like really not even doing anything, and like the homeless guy is just watching. Yeah, <laughs> this eating- movie's great. It's ridiculous. This movie is like a bad, like a good porno, but without the without the fucking. A little bit of it. Yeah, and it, it's the same acting, kind of. Yeah. Especially like the first scene. Like, think about the 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 porn where it's like, I heard your sink's broken. Oh, can you fix it? Maybe. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's the acting of this yep. movie. Fix it with my cock. The donuts were surprisingly good, though. Yeah, even the CGI didn't look that terrible. Why did they CGI blood? I, because why not? Blood is so cheap. Like the bathroom scene with the yoga no guy. No one, u- no one uses squibs anymore. Why? Because no, everyone uses CGI blood. Ever since like RoboCop, I haven't seen like a good squib, like practical I mean, effect. Ash vs. Evil Dead. Yeah, I guess. But I don't know if they they're using. I think they use CGI blood in that. A lot show of it. Too. Some of it's real. Some of it's CGI. Yeah. 
I was gonna. Admit, I meant to say Evil Dead the um, remake. Oh yeah, a lot of blood in that one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there is a lot of blood. But yeah, you know. Um, but I mean, like, but there's there's the practical effects in this movie and CGI. Yeah, and the practical effects are the donuts. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, because yeah. that that's the only creature in the movie besides yeah. a couple. Of the rat was shit, hilarious. Shit zombies. Shit. I like to call them. Oh shit, <laughs> dude, that was so fucking great. Stupid. Remind me. I love it. Uh, when you eat the donuts and you fucking oh the yeah you start shitting or yeah yeah, yeah. you don't feel so good yeah, man and you start puking and you go, then he sh- hulks out <laughs> kicks the fucking police door <laughs> like, what the fuck he just shits himself it's fucking great <laughs> this movie is just comedy it's a comedy horror film yeah. so take that with a grain of salt I'm pretty sure it was made to be bad like yeah. pool party oh, massacre yeah. where it's Definitely. a lot of fun to watch but it's fucking god awful um I will say. Original, I guess, but it's donuts just, killing people. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, but there's always those creature film. Like this isn't. I mean, it's not. It's not original. Original. You no, know? no. It's I like just mean like the donut killing is oh, original. Yeah, like we've never seen a donut kill like people. Like we've never no. seen a killer donut movie, but now we have. <laughs> now we have. So <laughs> I was um, watching this today, and I was searching in my PSN like store to rent it, mm-hmm. and I typed in attack, you know, of the. And then like Excuse seven and then, like, things attack came of up. the leader later hosen zombies attack <laughs> of the blah 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 and I'm like attack of the killer tomatoes attack of the I mean that is the best one that's what started them over all. killer clowns okay killer um, but it doesn't have attack of the killer clowns yes it does that's what that <laughs> movie's called no it's not okay <laughs> <laughs> but killer tomatoes was hilarious yeah we should have done that one too yeah god damn it we missed out. Next year, when we do It's So Bad, It's Good. Part two. This is going to be... Yeah, this is, has to be a year-round event. You just going to put your glass of water down on my fucking RoboCop thing, bro? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, um, I'm high. Great film. Great film. I love it. Uh, yeah, back on track here. Um, the, ridiculous. Like, the mom... They, like They feel like every stereotype in this movie. But I feel, feel like, like it's supposed characters. to be because it's comedy. It's, like, it's a comedy, so like they're like, oh, we're just going to like overtly do everything that's comical. You, you have the horny mom that makes a lot of bacon. Yeah. <laughs> like, his whole plate was bacon. He wakes up to go to work. to his house and, like... Does he have sex with his mom? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was like, I didn't know if it was, like, it was being implied, but, like, no, are you ready? She's yeah. like, she opens the door, and it, mind you, he's like a fucking nerd. He's yeah, the kind he's of kid squeeb. you would think that wears a fedora and says milady and shit. Milady. He's one of those guys. Did you come for the macaroni, cheese, and bacon? That sounds pretty good. It does. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That mac And that bowl looked really good. Like, yeah. That's where the budget went, was the fucking food. That bowl of macaroni, cheese, and bacon. The donut shop was pretty sure a rundown fucking restaurant. The, first off, they, that's not how you make donuts. No. You don't just take the donut already made and then stick it in the fryer. <laughs> like, like, even the fucking donut process of making them is just wrong. Like, yeah. They took fucking labels off of Fago bottles and put <laughs> dandy donuts on everything. Oh, yeah. The fucking boss guy comes in and takes a soda and just puts it back. <laughs> She's like, you're just going to do that. He's like, yeah. He's like, the boss reminds me of like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's 100% Mr. Krabs. <laughs> or the, uh, I, I think my favorite like, the weirdo was the fucking like nutritionist, new aged. Uh, oh my God. He guy. was the best. The first kill. Yeah. I was so upset when he died. I was like, <laughs> no, he's so fucking good. <laughs> this is. <laughs> raw almond based uh gluten free soy it's it is little he's ass like, that's too small to be a donut he's like it, it's a donut hole <laughs> it's a donut hole it's this like little ass fucking thing he's like the best part about it he's like doing these weird like hand movements and shit. <laughs> he's like him. retail 350 <laughs> they're like what no you'll never sell any of them he's like sold three dozen this morning <laughs> and they're like no you didn't and then she tries it and she's like oh my god this like, is the best donut I've like, ever you had. know when you eat something really good and you have like a minor orgasm minor? that's what that fucking whole scene was yeah like, <laughs> like it's that's me eating a bowl of mac and cheese every time I'm just like, oh my god <laughs> this movie was so stupid i, I love can't. it the, um, the guy's girlfriend's clearly cheating on her, and he's she's not hiding they're that They're not fact. even dating, I don't even think. She's just like... She's like using him for money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is smart for her. I just like, dude, fuck yeah. You got, you con this guy to give you money whenever you want? I wish, like, that'd yeah. be sweet. Like, I need You know what bucks. the guy reminded me of? Who? He was like a muscular version of Cole Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the... <laughs> he fucking is. 
babe, I'm on house arrest. We gotta go. <laughs> For those who don't know who Cole Fletcher is, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time old, not longer, no longer a friend of ours. Yeah, <laughs> God, I, he does. I didn't even fucking think about that. Watch it again. You'll be like. That's Cole Fletcher's. <laughs> Holy shit. Sorry for the inside joke, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, maybe I'll post a picture of him on our Instagram. <laughs> They'll fucking put side With by the side. long hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Back on track. Um, But yeah, no. So like real quick, there's like a fucking like an uncle that's like he's an underrated genius. Yeah. And it's literally shot by shot done poorly reanimator when he's got the fucking syringe full of the goo and he sh- injects the dead animal and it comes back to life but it, it starts, attacks him. starts attacking him he's like don't, don't you're not gonna eat mini bitch <laughs> and like the as the kid's like trying to get in there like i need my tablet like a it's fucking, a laptop yeah <laughs> he's like I need my tablet and they show it it's a fucking <laughs> laptop he's like the script said tablet and they just couldn't afford a tablet so they just got a cheap <laughs> They fucking laptop, the fucking but, they, donut but they're like, you still got to say tablet because it's in the script. I love that they just slap stickers on everything. Yeah, All right, Danny, they got like a fucking three dollar sign made that they can hang this on. Lo- the- this looks like it's been lived in. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the homeless guy in the movie actually lived in that building, <laughs> and he was like, "Well, if you want to film here, I got to be in your movie." Yeah, and I want free donuts. <laughs> He's like, "I'll put this on my." <laughs> okay, so like the homeless guy is like eating crumbs in the side table. Yeah. And he comes up to get another donut and he goes, You can put that on my tab, sir. And just goes away. And you're just like, You have a tab for a donut shop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This movie was fun. Watch it. It's yeah. on VOD everywhere. The lady that orgasmed when she has a donut, like with the donuts? Yeah. That's what, yeah. yeah oh, that fucking lady. The cat lady. The fucking cat. Dude. It was just a doll. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't afford a cat. <laughs> I feel like they tried, and the cat wouldn't stay on the fucking so couch. Like, Fuck like, it. Go to fucking Kmart, buy one of those furry life like cat things, and we're fucking buy the batteries. There's the whole budget for the They're film. Like, Meow. <laughs> what was his name? I don't remember. I can't remember. It was something stupid. Simeon. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. She's like, it's her cheat day. And yeah, because she's, she's like, on a diet. She's on a diet, and she's done really well. So she wants, they gave her a dozen donuts, and she's like dressed in this lingerie thing. And does like oh, she's a, about to fuck the? I thought she, she was gonna fuck the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I said we're about to see some lady fuck a cat. We're some fucking uh, no, she's going fucking inner species erotica, dude. <laughs> dude, she's going ham on these fucking donuts, and she's like about to fuck these donuts, and then dies, and then they kill her. They kill her. <laughs> the donuts kill you. So cool design. Just four teeth and a, it's just a regular donut with four, four teeth. teeth. And they talk. <laughs> they also spit acid. Yeah. Brilliant concept. I feel like it could have been a short and it would have been fine. I feel like. But that's with any of these bad horror movies. If they're shorts, they're better. But. Yeah. It's just like. Because like. The, I feel like the I first I was hour glad. holds up. And then after that, you kind of lose everything. No. I was glad to be in that world. Oh, were you? <laughs> I was in it completely. Oh, my God. Weed inquired, please. <laughs> Please oh, watch it's one it's of high. those films. Yeah, yeah, you have to watch it high. Definitely. Oh god. The co- the the white cop looked like Johnny Knoxville's like dad. Yeah. That was f- that guy. That oh, guy. Oh man. The cops just a your typical cops is eating some donuts. <gasps> yeah, fucking fucking donut eating cops. <laughs> and they're drinking that coffee that's gross as fuck. Yeah. Like, oh god. He farts in the fucking keeps me regular. And, and it's like, green. What the fuck? It, it, it's totally like if you like e- the Evil Bond series or like any of those type of movies. This movie this is for just you. for you. This is f- literally for you. Like it's ma- it was made to be bad, Ugh. but it's so bad it's good, and that's why it's on this list. Exactly. Uh, but that's it. That's all four movies this week. We have did it. We have lived another day after watching these movies. Yeah. If you guys have watched these, please give us your commentary. What do you think of these fucking movies? Yeah. Um, I'm about to start uh the sun. Uh, I'm gonna start doing the uh Stardust for us, so you guys can actually react to it. Like, send us your reactions to like trailers and like movies that we're talking about on there. Nice, yes, do that. That sounds cool. I'm gonna start doing that. <coughs> I'm gonna probably do the superhero stuff too. Yeah, I want to start it with Deadpool. Oh God, tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, next week. It's going to be all the listener requests. So we've gotten a lot of movie requests from certain uh, from a lot of people. We're going to pick four or five. Uh, we're going to watch them. The list is pretty great already. It's it's going to be like a week two 
kind of feel Great. mixed with the week this week. Like there looks like okay. there's some good ones in there, but there's going to be some garbage. All right, but who do you think wins this week? And uh, don't go in the woods alone. That's, That's my choice. Vote? That's my vote. I gotta go with Killer Donuts, man. Okay, I'll write that down. Even though I love the movie, it's still trash. It's it, still trash, and I do want to see it. At least it was watchable trash. I think yeah. that's a really helpful. I think it was a strong, and it's you know it's the only kind of monster in this list, kind of. Yeah. You know. Yeah, all of these. I mean, these like an actual like, creature. Yeah, I mean, that, like last week was a lot of creatures. This week was more slashers, and then our final week will be more. I don't even know what the fuck. I have the list. I just can't remember it. Um, but we'll. I'll post those movies soon, and then. We'll watch them. We'll watch those fucking movies. And then that's you. it. We're done. That's it. <laughs> We're going that's back, it. and I'm still going to hate everything. <laughs> yeah, and then don't worry. It was, next week, we'll announce what we're doing for the month of June, and it's going to be a delight for you guys. Yeah. It's going to be pretty fun. It was Patrick's idea. Pippity pat. Yeah. Um, but, guys, continue. Unless to, you hate it, then unless it was you Mike's hate idea. It. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, keep sending us those reviews. It really does help us you know, get up there for more people to find our show on iTunes or whatever you're listening to us on. Just leave us a review. It's really cool. Um, like I said, as always, send us your horror, you know, movies, topics, books, comics, whatever you guys have. If, uh, if you want to send us anything, horror junkie podcast at gmail.com. We're pretty fast on response. We got some screeners, uh, the Jurassic games. Oh uh, God. Which is like a hungry games, but with dinosaurs and the nursery. Like they just emailed us today. So we'll probably put those into our, in June and watch those. Okay. Um, so those are fun things that are happening on our end. Um, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, at HorrorJunkiesFL. Um, whatever else you guys want to do, tell us you hate us. Yeah. Yeah. Tell Keep us up with the, the Instagram. You guys have been doing really cool on Instagram. I've been having conversations with all kinds of people about movies. Hell yeah. It's nice. Um, but guys, as always, I'm Mike. And I'm Pat. And this has been another weird, hairy, and sweaty episode of, of the, the Hor- Horror Junkies Damn podcast. Damn it. <laughs> See what happens when we try. (laughs) You can't fucking do it. All right, guys. Stay weird. See you next week. Bye.